We are closing. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in to LA Show. Tonight we will be featuring a good fellow friend of mine, Fidel Cash Bovier. He is wonderful business community, black tech community, cryptocurrency, social media guru, all of the things that you can need plus more. But he's my friend. So, Fidel, how are you, buddy? Well, I'll say it's a pleasure to be here. It uh, means a lot to be featured on the LA show. Um, you know, I love your work. You're Thanks. doing a great job. Your content is amazing. Like I said, it's just a pleasure to be here, you know. Thank you. Thank you. So tonight, we are, I'm about to go to sleep. He might be turning up for the night, but we wanted to stop and talk about this girl named Hannah Tenen Tenenzer from Belfast, Ireland. Mm -hmm. um, is a 22-year-old beauty therapy student um, over there in Belfast, Ireland, like I said. And she uses a illegal substance called melaton melanon melanotan. Sorry, it's a weird name. And she also tans excessively to the point where she is literally two shades darker than me. And for them. So we just wanted to talk about some key points to this, get this out there to my viewers, um, and just discuss this. So how do you feel about Miss Tittenzer, Fidel? Well, LA, here's the thing. We have an issue nowadays, it's 2019, and it's a cultural issue, like we were talking earlier. Like they're taking the culture and the styles, and instead of giving credit to those who started these styles, you know, they're just making them say, hey, you know, it's for everybody. But as far as her and the tanning from a health standpoint, from a health perspective, I'm not a doctor, but you wouldn't be considered a tanning addict unless you were overdoing it. Like, you know, it's just like with drugs, you're doing too many drugs, you're a drug addict. So she's a tanning addict. So she's going too far with the tanning. She's putting herself in danger. But for what, though? Is she trying to be something other than herself? Or does she just envy darker skin? Is she going to the extreme just to get this dark skin? Just, I mean, it's got to be a reason, a method to the madness. That's that's how I look at it. You know, I, mean, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you brought up some good points. Uh, the first point I got from you was pretty much like the social aspect of it. Do you feel mm -hmm. as though like, Socially, this is more so being accepted nowadays in our culture? Well, of course, when it comes to the culture, though, I mean, you we're just like we go through Instagram, Twitter, and everything. We go through the comment sections. And you see the argument there. You, it's both sides. Well, she's okay to do what she pleases. Then you see the other side. Well, what is she trying to be? Black? That's the both sides of the argument right there. But right here, um, you know, when we talked earlier, most of the news is just coming up about the story. So a day ago, just news.com, random sites, but this Australian news site says the woman is addicted to tanning. Sunbeds are so dark that she's mistaken as black. Now, why would they say that unless that was an issue? And this is a news site that says that she's so dark that she's being mistaken as black. Not the health aspect, like she's tanning so much she could catch, was it melanoma or whatever the skin cancer is? No, she's mistaken as black. That's the headline. Okay. I don't know. So we That's can run with it and say that, you know, with these white women popping up, because this isn't just, it's not just her that's done this. So mm -hmm. we these white women in the past, Rachel Dahlville, um, mm -hmm. there's another one, uh, Aga Brazokta. Mm -hmm. She's the famous one that got a lot of heat last year. Mm -hmm. And 
couple others. There's a whole community of these girls. So we can say that even the media is thinking that they're trying to be black. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, she's a, she's a, we call these Instagram people. I wouldn't say she's an Instagram model, but In- yeah. So she, in one of the videos, she was talking about how many followers or how many views one of her videos had. So now, of course, it's going to boost it. So that's another question. Does she do it for Instagram fame, for, for clout? Like a lot of people say, but then that that's coming to the community. Like, all right, how much more are you gonna stand for? Like, when are we gonna grasp grasp our culture, put a choke on, and say that that's ours? You know, like if we walk around, here's the thing: if you were to put on a blonde wig, buff your skin up to as light as it could get, change how you talk and everything, they say, hey, you're trying to act white. So she switches it up, uses different styles, box braids. What kind of braids for those that she had? Box braids. Box braids, right? And all of this. But yet you're not trying to shout out the culture. You're not just, I mean, you're denying it. So therefore you're still in the culture telling lies about why you're doing it. I mean, it's too. (laughs) It's a mind game. Um, Another point that you made is the fact that um, she is pretty much taking the style and denying us. So she doesn't, she doesn't say that she wants to be black. Actually, in the interview on Barcroft, she pretty much said, I don't care what you guys think. Okay. And that's a good thing. That's how you should be. But another thing that you said, too, another point that you made, also somebody that got into an argument with me on Instagram, they were pointing out that Black women wear blonde weaves, Black women wear, uh, uh, they do bleach their skin. But like I said, when Black women bleach our skin, we're not trying to go and be full-fledged white. We're mm-hmm. trying to do the lighter skin in our race. There's a difference. Yeah. Um, I've, I've heard that one too. Like down in the Caribbean, like they had that issue. But here's the thing. <clears throat> don't you notice that most people want what they don't have? Like a lot of people with pale skin, they're like, oh, I wish my skin was dark. Or people with dark skin, like, oh, man, if I could just lighten up a little bit. Everybody wants what they don't have. So, but do, you, but do you believe those Caribbeans who bleach their skin are they going around acting as if they're Caucasian and at, and taking culture from Caucasian? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get that from it because I, it's more like what you said. It's a it's a light skinned thing within you know what I mean. The okay. black community is okay. like shades of blackness, if you will. Exactly. We're not trying to step out or outside exactly. of the. the we have Africans over in Madagascar that have blonde hair and blue eyes. Let's keep right. that in mind. That's true. Just That's because true. we have this whitewash beauty stigma doesn't mean that black people bleach their skin just to be white. It doesn't mean that. That's right. I mean... Um, but, but there's also clearly a clear mental issue within that community. Just like I'm going to point out with Miss Hannah Tittenzer and the whole black fishing community. That shows me that you guys clearly have some type of mental defense. Clearly. Well, I mean, that's the thing because they know what they're doing. They know that that one act, all they got to do is go tan or something and it's going to instantly get them attention. It's just yeah. like the ones who were saying the N-word on video. Yeah. Begging- to commit an act of violence against them because they know they could go out and get the lawyer. They know this person's probably going to lose everything they have. All I'm going to do is take a shot to the face. I mean, it's really that privilege card that some people like to pull. They're pulling it. They're pulling it. But yep. at the same time, they know what they're doing, too, because you're not going to sit and tell me that as a you know, young white woman that you don't, you don't feel like you're looking or attempting to look black. 
because that's what you're doing. I mean, that's just the, the gist of it. It's no, you don't go to, to, to tan and get that dark because, I mean, it's, it's dangerous. It's so dangerous. it's mental. It's a mental thing, like okay. very mentally. Let's talk about the side effects of that illegal drug, melanotan. Um, actually, she said in the a Bark Croft documentary that it makes her feel sick and it gives her a low appetite. Wow. Well, and that's why she's so tiny, but she also uses hashtags, um, inspo, like she's an inspiration and thin spo, like a thin inspiration. And she right. also is uh fitness hashtags and things of that nature so also you know the fitness community is a joke as well because of people like this who take supplements mm -hmm. and destroy mm -hmm. them, you know right right um that's another thing like she's combining the two so that makes her a little more questionable too it's a lot of fads this thing could easily be considered a fad too and that makes it even worse for the culture because like now you're just really laughing in everybody's face but you know she's talking about fitness and thin and all of this she's just riding a lot of waves like that's what I, that's what i'm hearing and i mean you know as a guy 30 31 year old man living in america you know what i'm saying like to me, it looks like a white girl trying to be black. That's what we used to call it. I'm gonna call it honest. Like growing up, coming up, we would be like, yo, man, why are they trying to be black? Why are you acting black? And they know that's what they're doing. But okay. I mean, they call it whatever you want to call it. It's 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 a word for it now, I'm sure. But so I looked up the drug melanotan two is a synthetic mm -hmm. analog of the peptide hormone a melanocyte stimulating hormone. It was under development as drug candidate for female sexual dysfunction and erectile dysfunction, but clinical development ceased in 2003. And as of 2018, no product containing melanotan 2 was marketed and all commercial development has ceased. Unlicensed mm untested or fraudulent products sold as melanotan 2 are found on the internet and purported to be effective as tanning drugs wow that's it's crazy and i'm while you're talking about that i'm sitting there i just google melanin pills <laughs> i mean you talk about big business i mean just right here ultra beauty you got these vitamins. I mean, melatonin. Well, that's different. Melatonin tablets. But uh, they got something called HUM. Home Nutrition. Here Comes the Sun. $20 from Sephora. Tannin pills. My Tan Bronzer. High Dose bio, uh, Biotin. I mean, X-Tan. Tone Tan Vegan Gummies. So look, Tone Tan Vegan Gummies. So they're trying to bring the vegan thing along to the skin thing. Right? You might have been on to some with this thing, because I mean, it's just like people with eating disorders. They feel like they're okay. They might look in the mirror and feel like they're fine, and they're like paper thin. Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. But every time they eat, they go and spin their food up. It's like this girl. She thinks it's okay to go and sit up under, pretty much, a, a, getting cooked for 45 minutes a week. Yeah. She says, "I love the dark, healthy skin." Baby, your skin ain't healthy. Your skin is burnt. It's burnt. <laughs> I don't care how many pills you take. You're burning your, your your skin cells and everything. Like I say, it's going to look like a leather catcher's mitt. You're just not built to be dark. Enjoy your, your pale, clear skin. It's okay. Embrace it. Embrace yourself, Dorothy, because, you know, I don't know if this was something that she put out there for... She put this out there. Barcross right. got this interview from her right, so, right right something that she put out there to try to influence other caucasian women to do that in the u.s mm. but I, I don't think they should bring that over there to us just yet i don't think y'all should do that over here just yet well you know 
along with that too, you got, like we're saying, this is culture thing. Like you want to embrace the culture, but you don't want to embrace the struggle. Like it's okay to say, hey, you know, I'm really a black woman, but you're clearly a white woman. But going back, growing up, like people were confused my grandmother for a white woman. And they sit here and be talking stuff about black women. They, she looking cussed her ass out, like for real, like real true story. She used to work at the mall and they just thought she was white the whole time until they were talking about, you know what I'm saying, some women of color right around her. And they're like, hold up, um, you got the wrong one. Mm-hmm. So this thing is like, I don't know, it's, you could look like a person. Light skin brother. I'm a brown skin sister. Mm-hmm. We come in all shades, but when you, when you have somebody come in and stampede on your culture, and yeah. that even wants to be like, don't even want to associate themselves with you. Right. And it's a whole group of them over there in Ireland. It's not just her. It's not just her. So when they start putting this stuff out there to mass media and pushing this stuff on the American kids, Mm. My message to you guys is do not try this in America. Don't even waste your time. Right, right, right. Because we will be staring at you. We will be looking at you like something. Not ready? It's ready. But look, um, it could become an epidemic. I mean, because kids are susceptible, susceptible, susceptible anything the minds aren't ready it's hard for them to process things that they see and if they see popular people doing stuff people who they think is successful doing things like this girl she might blow up all of this one video and she, did. Of, she did she you know did. what i'm saying blow up. and then these girls are gonna be looking up to her going tanning their moms they're gonna be like oh well yeah we'll take you to go tan at least that'll keep you calm you know what I'm saying? Go tan them. And they're going to be walking around brown. Then a couple years later, the skin will be cracking and peeling. And see, that's something that you'll have to deal with. You know, luckily, we are blessed with natural melanin. Um, you know, why? Hopefully, there'll be an investigation on how these people are getting this stuff, this illegal substance over there right. in Ireland since she opened that floodgate. Uh, and also, you know, love yourselves, you guys. If anything you did not catch from us, if we were joking too much or whatever, love yourself. You know, you could be big, round, blue, green, love yourself. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in with me and Fidel Cashflow VA. Please follow him on all platforms, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Also, he has started up his Lighthouse Links VA page on Instagram where you can get exclusive gold gold jewelry for nice prices. DM him now so that you can get in and get your stuff ready for Easter. Get your stuff ready for Mother's Day. It's got some beautiful stuff. That store is popping. So make sure y'all catch me again we will be back to do something else. If you like this, let me know in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one.